hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm Taylor and if you didn't know already I was at fashion week last week and I went with TikTok and it was a crazy crazy week and I didn't get as much YouTube content as I wanted to so I missed a YouTube video last week but I wanted to kind of talk about the trends that I saw at fashion week and a little recap of what I did I'm gonna start by talking about the trends and there was probably three trends that really stuck out to me the first one is leather or faux leather looks. I saw it at basically every single fashion show I went to, whether it was a top, pants, jacket, skirt, boots, it really didn't matter. Sometimes it was an entire look was faux leather and I kind of had a feeling that that was going to be one of the trends and I packed a couple outfits that were faux leather but anyway that was probably my favorite trend. Those were a couple clips of the faux leather looks. I am literally obsessed with them obsessed I want to wear that look every single day I'm going to Paris next week and I'm actually packing some of that to get excited for the Paris vlog another trend that I fell in love with I can't wait for more pieces to come in stock usually when a trend scene at fashion week it takes a little bit of time before it gets into stores but it is the padded kind of capped sleeve so it will hit you right on the outside of your shoulder and it's padded and it's phenomenal I'm obsessed I saw it on dresses on t-shirts there's actually one at the Frankie shop right now that I have my eye on and it's sold out it's been sold out but literally everyone's buying it it's gonna be a huge trend so make sure you jump on the padded shoulders um, because they're really cute and they give your look so much structure there was even some mixing of patterns. I saw at the Tory Burt show there was um, skirts that were one pattern and boots that were another pattern and it just looked really really cool and most of the flowy pattern pieces were paired with over the knee boots that were slouchy or just slouchy boots and I just thought that was really really cute, really fun. It kind of gave me a little bit of 70s vibes. Now to update you guys on what I did at Fashion Week. I was pretty busy. I went to quite a few shows every single day um, to tell you guys about some of my favorites. My favorites were Rag and Bone. I was dressed for the event and I even made a few TikToks uh, for the event and it was probably the most theatrical of the shows. It was in this giant room and um, there was a huge screen that lit up. It was just really cool. I'll put a clip of it here so you guys can see a little glimpse of what the show was like. Another show that I really loved was Tori Burch. Um, it was in an art gallery and the girls were walking through the art gallery and then at the end we found out that the music that was playing was actually a live singer so that was a kind of cool exciting thing. And I also made a TikTok for Tori Burch. My other favorite shows were actually presentations and the first one was with Rebecca Minkoff. It was so colorful. Each area of the presentation was a different color theme and there was kids in the show, there was babies. It was just, she always does such a really great job. And then the other one that was my favorite was the Alice and Olivia presentation. I was dressed in a little Alice and Olivia leather romper which was really cute and the presentation was amazing. It had my favorite hair of any show and the hair was done by Justine Marjan and it had these little bedazzled jewels in a lot of the girls had flowing waves and then the jewels were just in the waves. It was so pretty but the fashion was also phenomenal. Again each little section of the presentation had its own kind of theme and I actually went on stage with the models so those shows were just my favorite and I had such a blast. I got to meet a lot of really cool people. Jason even had fun even though he spent a lot of time in the hotel room but I can't wait for Paris and I will be doing a lot more YouTube content in Paris so stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet subscribe in the bubble on the screen and thanks for watching.